Hello, this is Advent of Code. Advent of Code in Closure. Today we are solving day five of year 2021, and maybe uh, later a little bit of old tasks. And we have everything set up. We do. We have zero viewers. But we can start reading the task, I guess. You come across a field of hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. Okay, yeah. Uh, these vents constantly produce large opaque clouds, so it would be best to avoid them if possible. I kind of agree. Yes, it makes sense. Uh, they tend to form in lines. The submarine helpfully produces a list of nearby lines of vents your pattern put to you to review, for example. Oops. Let's put it in example while we can. Each line of vents is given as, as a line segment in format x1, a1, y1, x2, y2. Where x1 occurs on one end uh, of the, the and this occurs the other end. This line segments include the points on both sides. In other words, center like one one covers point one 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 two and three. Because one, okay, for now only consider horizontal and vertical lines. Lines where either x okay. So for the horizontal and vertical lines from the above list will produce the following diagram. Uh, in this diagram, the top left corner is 0, 0, and the bottom right corner is 8, 8, each position is shown as the number of lines which cover the point. If no line covers that point, the top left pair of 1s, for example, comes from 2, 2 to 1. The very bottom row is formed by the overlapping lines. Uh, towards the most dangerous areas, you need to determine the number of points where at least two lines overlap. In the above example, this is anywhere in this graph is a two or larger, a total of five points. Consider only horizontal and vertical lines. How many points do at least two lines? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, so um, so it's about thousand by thousand, right? So it's like a million numbers if we want to make it in memory. Yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, there are two possible solutions, of course. So one would be to try to store this literally as a matrix with numbers, right? And the other would be to compare each one with each one. So, and if you do that, we have 500 lines. So we'll basically need to do five multiplied for, for like 300,000 comparisons, kind of, yes. Isn't that bad, I think? Uh, isn't that bad? So what, what do we do? What do we do? What, I don't know. Um, hmm. Let's, let's try uh, not build a matrix. Right? Building a matrix is boring. Like, who, who, who would want that? Uh, hello, this DB. Hi, welcome to the stream. Um, okay, so day four, we don't need. Day five, we kind of need. So our solution might be, like, first we probably need the person input, right, to build all those lines and Line is four points, so let's say record line or vent, let's call it vent x1, y1, x2, y2. We might also sort them as well. Uh, let's, I don't think I started a REPL. Uh, no. Mm, 
input. So what we do is we take input split by backslashn, right? Or probably do some trim, then split by backslashn. So we get lines, right? And then we basically map v. And let's build, write a function parse vent line res, I don't know, let x1, i1, x2, y2. So we need matches, right? Something like this. So this basically means a number, a comma, a number, an arrow, a number, comma, a number. Okay. So this is what we need. Maybe we want like have optional white space because it's always good to have optional white space. And beginning and end as well, we don't really care, but it's good to just so that like, just so we have it. Okay, so we have that and then we kind of sort it. How do we sort it? Um, so it's either horizontal or vertical. That means that we can also do x1. Actually, we can do, you know, what we can do is we can do this. We do next to skip the, the whole line. Then we do parse long for each of them and we get our numbers. Right, and now we make event from so given the either horizontal or vertical, this should be all right, right. Okay, let's see. Let's say we just say parse and see what we get. I know how to parse went. Okay. Yeah. So for some reason string split, even though it returns a sequence, it doesn't start with a sequence, so it needs different threading operator. Okay, so zero nine five nine. This is not horizontal or vertical. This is diagonal. What the fuck? Wait, what? This is diagonal line, right? We start with x0. And we end with x0 and y8. So we start here and we end here. This is diagonal line, this is a mistake. Oh, so we just skip the rest. Right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so 10 lines, 
one, two, three, four, and only five here. Okay, so we so we just keep non non uh, horizontal or vertical. So this is we do keep instead of uh, map. It's exactly like like map, but it removes nils, right? And here um, when either Because of this sorting thing that we're doing, it's only valid, of course, for um, uh, if we have one of these conditions. Right. Okay, so we have some input parsed. Now we need to f define intersections. Um, no, probably easier it would be to build the matrix of intersections. I don't know. And the reason for that is we need to count lines where count number of points where at least two lines are up. But we might have a point where three lines are up or four or five, right? So this wouldn't be super efficient. Okay, so what we do is what we do is these are vents, right? Um, what we need is max x. Oh, let's just hard code. Ah, uh, max x is uh, kind of reduce um, max map vents uh, x2, right? And max y is reduced maps y2. And we know that uh, the second, the right, the end is has bigger coordinates uh, at the beginning in our case. Okay, uh, now we know, uh, now we have that. We probably want a Java list Java array. So we want, we want a mutable. We want we want a mutable array. Okay. Uh, let's call it read height um, So if we have the max is nine, so it means we have ten, right? Yeah. Okay, so um, let's call it Matrix because I like that movie. Um, <laughs> and uh, make array. Again, I need to create uh, integer types. So what we need is probably short or byte. Let's use short. Java has short, right? Because we don't need a huge array, and then um, create some just array since a specified class of how the class object is returned. Class objects acquired. A class object can be obtained. Class objects. What I don't understand is what more deems means. Like, and for that we'll need to open closure sources because. I always want to open closure sources. Uh, you go to core.clj, make array. No, I don't understand really this code. The first one is we create an integer array. 
Why? Maybe I don't know what uh, array class does do. Oh no, that's not what we need. New instance. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, this is because it calls this. Um, it creates a new array with specified component type and a non array class. A new array has dimensions, lines, dimensions, and component types. So, uh, can we create a two dimensional array, kind of? Yes? No? Let's see. Uh, let's see. It, it's kind of. We can use a multi-dimensional array, so what we want is height and width, right? So the top level array would be row, I mean rows. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, let's let's, let's actually uh, just experiment, or like this closure, right? So we want 10, 2, for example. Okay, so this is like no this is not what um, so this is array of 10 elements and yes yeah, so top level is 10 this next level is two. Yeah, this is exactly what we need actually, so this is good. Uh, let's call make long still because because long is better. Okay, so uh, uh, because closure, it's easier to work with longs and closure. Okay, so now we fill the array with numbers, right? So basically um, what we do is we can um, make a function that returns coordinates inside went seek and it takes event and what it does is uh, if it's horizontal or it's vertical it basically returns if equals x1 went x to went right so the went is vertical we return map um, range y1 went y2 went actually maybe even ink because uh, edges are included right let's see uh, so this one is created for 2 1 2 Two, right? So uh, and I included in this case, um, and what we want is, well, actually, yeah, we want I went percent. Okay, so this is what we want, and if it's um, the other way around, we want this. So basically, it's just, it's just an iterator over uh, coordinates inside event. Uh, say we use it uh, for two, 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 one. Yes, and it's an empty sequence because you're not supposed to create them this way. Um, hmm. Yeah, kind of, kind of works, right? And the other way around, so say we use from 1 to, to 10 to, yeah, that kind of works. Okay, cool. So when seek works, um, so now we do basically do seek when events, and then x, y, um, when seek went, right? So uh, this is filled with zeros, right? So we call we call a set. Uh, now we basically let 
So our role will be um, a get matrix y, right? And then then we do well get row x so this old value and we basically just increase it a set row uh, x in well kind of like that uh, we can use short actually because we can do i think it like that okay so at this point we will have <clears throat> what we need and then we basically just count everything that is not that is more than What do we do? Uh, reduce. Reduce is not good. Maybe four. Y range zero height. X range zero width. And basically row is a get matrix Y. Right. Uh, this is let, of course. Well, and get row x. So this is kind of terrible, but yeah, this is terrible. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not going to do that. We are going to do this. We are going to do do seek. The sick is great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When. So only if we are bigger than one. We count it, right? Okay, so this is our code. Let's run it on example. Get number five. Is it correct? Is it, it is correct. We run it on part and we get. Yeah, we get we get the number. It took crazy long time. But six one one three. Yeah, this was long. But that's the right answer. That's all we care about. Okay, uh, this DV is asking, can I recommend a book or maybe a course for learning closure for beginning? Uh, if you're speaking Russian, we have a course in this address. Uh, this was an online course um, a few years ago, but it's still actual, uh, like current, and all the videos videos are pretty tight and there's it's a playlist right so like it covers all the basics it covers editor uh, environment and it was me and some other closureists were doing that but it's in russian uh if it's not in russian you, if you don't speak russian then then you probably should pick a book. Uh, I was reading Joy of Closure back in the day, uh, and then I think it's still good. I'm pretty sure it's still good, but yeah. But I'm sure other books are good as well. So. Okay, uh, another question. Why am I using rswap? It's actually vswap, not rswap. Um, I'm using it because Clojure doesn't have mutable variables. Um, so you have to use so is there is there atom of volatiles, but we don't need atoms here, so it's volatile. Um, 
kind of, yeah. I, I'm not sure why it's so slow. It's, it shouldn't be so slow. It's crazy slow, right? But we just need to, like, we have 500 vents. Well, maybe they have a lot of, lots of, you know what, what should we do? Let's check for reflection. I don't have a better way to do it yet, unfortunately. No, it seems okay. You don't have reflection. Okay. So yeah, it was crazy long time and I am not certainly not happy with it, but it worked. Yeah, it worked, but hmm. Hmm. Three seconds, yeah, it's super long. Let's try again. Um, yeah, I should comment this out so I don't. This works for Fira code, but doesn't work for this font. Yeah, no, we have nice clocky thing there. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder what is wrong. Maybe. What if we use like the single dimension array and just calculate coordinates? May would that be faster? I doubt it, right? I doubt it. But we can do, you know, what we can do, like just let's let's solve the second part and then we may be optimized, right? And function considering only horizontal and middle lines doesn't give you a full picture. You need to also consider diagonal lines. Because of the limits of the hydrothermal vent mapping system, the lines in the least will only ever be horizontal. Like a diagonal line at exactly 45 degrees. In other words, covers blah blah blah. Considering a few lines from, you still need to determine the number of points where at least two lines overlap. In the above example, this is still anywhere in the diagram is two or larger now, a total of 12 points. Consider all of the lines and how many points do at least two of the lines overlap. Okay, so it's basically the same, but there are more lines now, right? Um, let's do... So, yeah, you could expect it that... So one thing that wouldn't work definitely is this. So let's just get rid of it. all together. Uh, this is the first change we are going to do. Okay, so we keep map V here thingy, right? But for part one, we kind of just filter out diagonals from here. Okay, so... filter or okay uh, this is how we filter second thing okay so now this wouldn't work um, We can, you know what we can do? We can do... Although this is not very readable, just for the fun of it. Yeah, uh, so what it, this will do is this function will from each vent return an array of x1, x2, right? And then the mopcat will join them into this one single sequence. So it kind of should work still. Let's see if it still works. No. 
parts when to parse one. Yeah, there it is. Again, this nonsense again. Okay, so it doesn't work. Yeah, because we, we didn't fix uh, when seek, right? So when seek is. Hi, Mick. Yeah, it's not, not commander style uh, or farm manager style. Yeah, I actually even call this color scheme commander so far. Uh, I haven't published it yet, but I think I will at some point. Bring so many memories. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't fix this. So now it's either horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. What that means for us is we don't really care which way it goes, right? Huh. Yeah, I'm just uh, figuring out how to do this. So, like range will probably be... Okay, let's say we calculate range as max between... You know what, let's do first some keys here x1, x2, y1, y2, right? So we extract those, then we do uh, is there yeah, there is mass apps This is super good. I super like that they bring some functions that uh, we've been needing. Okay, so this is the range. So this is how far between x1 and x2 we need to go. Maybe dx is... Do they have signal, but we need the long covert light. Will it work? Probably it will. So we take range. That's actually steps. Kind of like this, right? And we map it with x1 what we basically do is return a vector of x1 dx Yeah, this is a very weird function, but what's what's no, no yeah yeah yeah. Let's see. Let's 
see them? What, what do you mean? So it has to be double here. Yeah. Okay. So now, it, okay. So this is getting too hard. Let's uh, write our file on And annotate it is taking long and returning on. Okay, so so this is just um, like this. Okay, so kind of works, right? Kind of works. Um, Kind of works. I, I'm not. I'm not sure how efficient it is, but it kind of works. Let's see if we get the number. Let's see how slower we became. Like about the same. Uh, but we support diagonals now. So and with diagonals, basically you do exactly the same, and uh, we can actually rename this, but into the function called solve, right? And it will take vents. And this part is going to be different part, but and everything else starting from here. This part of the solution, okay. So basically in this in here you solve only for horizontal or vertical yes and here you basically just solve for everything right no exceptions Oops. we got 12 and the full solution is twenty thousand three seven three that's the right answer yay um it is more code it is more code okay so now that we've done it we have done it uh i have some concerns like i don't particularly like this function <laughs> Right, it kind of does its job, but I, for some reason, I feel like there is something more elegant in here. Maybe, even though I kind of like this, maybe it's a loop. Okay, so the next problem here, um, it is slow, right? So I don't like that it is slow. I don't like that we use the same solve for both. Right? And we don't like that it's slow. So what we do instead, what we actually do is, let's start with basic measurements, right? So let's see how long this takes and how long this takes. No, like this. Yeah, it is kind of true Pascal style as well. Okay, so we have the first part takes this much, right? So basically to fill in all the lines takes about a second. And then we take two and a half second, basically um, figuring out, like filtering through, through this, right? Which is kind of long, kind of long. 
Okay, the first thing that I want to try, I have no idea whether it will be good or bad. Probably boss. Right, so we let's just make an array like this. Then what we do is we don't do We write a function that uh, converts index to right. Something goes around here. Mm, actually, there is a map, a map exception across an index and index and return by the name. There is something like a reduce. So this is very tricky function, but it might be useful for us. And basically, no, no, no. Okay, so we do this matrix coordinate, right? Like this, and then we don't need that. We do matrix like that. Run away, there is bigger than one. We swap. Okay, I have no idea whether it will be faster or slower, let's see. Probably the same. Yeah, it's the same. Slightly faster in the first part, so it doesn't matter, right? So, But uh, yeah, let's try another thing. Let's try long instead of short. Like, would it make any difference? Because we don't know, actually. It might, it might not. Who knows? No, no difference. Okay, so this is really kind of good, but that means the time is spent uh, elsewhere. I also want to kind of just to see how much. Yeah, so it's about a thousand by a thousand, right? So it's about a million elements so iterating over a million elements. Sequentially, he's taking that much time. Okay, um, there's also arrays in here, and it can do some stuff. Compare, uh, copy off, copy off range, fill. We can uh, fill horizontal lines, but probably not vertical, right? Match. Parallel prefix. You know what? We can actually simplify this greatly. Yeah, yeah, this is stupid. We don't need second loop at all. Yeah, this is uh, super stupid. Oh my god. Why would we need a second? Uh, all right. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's just as we said this. Right, we we increase the value, and when if this was bigger than zero already, 
we just we now it was exactly one when first when we increase it over one from one to two basically first time this is when we need this right so we kind of don't need that at all and yeah we <laughs> get nothing but this is just because i forgot to return a value and i don't need this okay uh, let's see yeah now we under 600 milliseconds of course we don't, yeah this was this was stupid super stupid okay uh which is much better but still very bad right 600 milliseconds in this case 900 milliseconds super bad okay so let's see let's try actually huh went seek right so constructing when sequences might be problematic because we can actually do this this and this in Like no, no no yeah yeah see see what I mean. Let's try it right. Let's try it. Let's uh, not destroy this yet, but let's say we return steps steps dx dx dy dy, right? So we do that. Now, what we do here instead of this, we do let case steps dx dy from when seek. Let's comment this out when seek went. So we only get numbers, but 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 we do step is going to be in range so we basically unroll this loop instead of like we don't create this intermediate sequence we just iterate our steps directly here right and what we do is x is going to be plus um, x1 from went and multiple of dx and step right and same for y but kind of like that okay so this is, should be exactly the same but might um, be like might, might perform better array index out of bounds yeah that's, uh, yeah because this is what we need to no it doesn't perform but <laughs> it performs the same or no, I did it. I don't know. Five hundred, slightly better, probably, right? Okay, and if we make it back, yeah, it performs the same. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's uh, see. Hmm. So this seek might be also not super optimal thing to do. And ag agiot asset might not be optimal either. What if we put, I don't know, will it help? Might, no, probably not. Okay. Okay, so last thing that I'm willing to try before we call it a day is let's let's install a profiler. Mm. 
and I had it set up in data script. Wait, no, why, why do I have two data scripts? Doesn't make some sense. I need this and I need this. Okay, yeah, and in here in devs, even we have this, right? Okay, we probably wanted to make it like profiler part of it, and then we also want this. So what this gives us is we get a profiling. Boom. Connect. Uh, go to the... Wait, what? Oh, uh, wait, 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 where is the file? I just uh, I just saw that we lost it. We didn't. Okay, this is good. That was that was scary. Even though it's just a day's work. Yeah. Yeah. This this lives here. Okay, so we have it here. And then uh, let's see how do you use it. So you require it, right? Let's require it. And then I don't remember. <laughs> so you call start and then you can call stop, kind of. Yeah, basically you just call start and stop, and uh, probably even let's let's go to the we might see something in there, something obvious. We might not. I I don't know. You don't know. You never know in ahead of time, right? Okay, so it's best to call be called on profile. And yeah, just profiler slash profile. Okay. okay, yeah, this is this works, I think. Profiler, and we go in here and we say profiler profile part one, right? So save, we do this and cannot attach to current way. Why? Why can't you attach? Huh. Did I miss some JVM opts? Uh, yeah, so these opts are not applied or what? We have this, right? And we have this, and we have this. But let's say you need a uh, and so it's weird.
Okay, now it works. And it's also slower, but uh, is it because of profile, by the way? No, it just in general became slower for some reason. Hmm. Okay, so what we do is we go to temp results and we open this file. Okay. And this is our solve. And there is some reflection, right? There is some reflection. String equals. Yeah, so this is reflection that probably slows us down. Um, I wonder what it is. <laughs> because I don't see any reflection here. When you do this, you su oh yeah maybe this is why i don't see it yay it's reflection haha <laughs> okay easy i just um, uh, eventually i will have this like somehow reported when you reload namespace inside editor uh, because i this should be enabled like by default always everywhere i don't know why it's not but anyway, so 37, yeah, okay, so math, ABS, okay, so it doesn't know that those are like longs. Um, so maybe we give it a hint. Okay, let's see how it works. Yes, this helped. 50 okay so now again this probably this didn't help right a get fifty fifty one with what matrix but you know this is this has type long longs. Why don't you know this? Okay. Yeah, no reflection anymore. Okay, we don't probably need even need this, right? Yes. Okay, 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 let's go, let's see. Now it's instant. Now it's instant, okay. Uh, this is how it's supposed to be. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, so I feel stupid for not finding reflection earlier. But uh, yeah, that's why you use uh, Profiler, right? Profilers always save you. Reduce. So basically we are in parse no, i don't like i don't care about parse but you see parse like takes significant amount of our time and make array also takes like significant amount of time for some reason even though it's just location so that probably means that this time is pretty slow small all right hopefully yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was ref it. Was reflection. It's always reflection <laughs> in closure. If something is way slower than it should be, it's reflection. Okay. Let's let me remove this because we only need this if we try to profile something. Uh, let me check that we can run it from here. Yeah, we can. Actually, I'm, I was thinking that the way we run those examples is also not. Maybe we need something like this.
because like um, the problem is this starts um, sorry uh, this starts like virtual machine five times closure is notorious for its startup time we don't want to do that we want only one um, and what we do is we actually write a main function here in one second uh, we call it main.clj and what we do is actually day range one to six in our case um, then we say that namespace is day and symbol right this is our namespace and what we do is actually you know what yeah, actually what we do is first we require namespace, then we basically we're doing this. We print the number of day, right, then we print this. Uh, we do flush then we print requ res resolve okay uh, let me see i don't have REPL, right yeah let me see yeah yeah, yeah. so we don't need all of those actually this will be dynamic for us. Um, resolve it. There is like an S resolve. And we take an S and part one. So this is what it resolves to, and you basically invoke it, right? And this is print ln. Then we do same for part two. Print part two uh, with a space. This we do flash. Obviously, all this just. Okay, we can actually do. We can even scan like directory and figure out which days we have. We are not going to do that just yet. And we, but we might want to have this. As a separate function and print solve day, day, something like that. Not solve, solve, solve day one, for example. Okay. So let's see, it doesn't work because something something is null okay so let's see if we get namespace right first okay we get namespace we get day one and then it says that in this resolve so it's basically this function oh because i say part yes see to me okay and print something cool and we might as extra extra print to land between them, right? Uh, let's call main. Let's call it again. It was very fast for some reason. Okay, we don't do this. Uh, second print LN for some reason doesn't work. Yeah, now it works. 
Yeah, so do we want to scan and uh, run? Oh, this certainly should be changed to this. Should we scan for days and figure out how many we have? Maybe uh, not here until lazy right now. <laughs> Let's commit it. Right, uh, we have profile. We have this, this, the five, the five example, da, 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 year 2021, day five. Cool. Uh, bum, bum, Okay, I'm not sure if my notebook is getting charged or discharged. Feels like it is discharged. Maybe I can pop out chat and close this. Maybe this will be better and hide this. Okay, so now we don't have Safari, or hopefully Safari at least wouldn't eat. Oh, that space. So I am feeling like uh, going to 2018, continue solving those. Th those are like hard tasks. Let me actually let me stop recording and start a new one.